Hi, this is JJ Coldborn reporting from what is clearly my glamorous palatial estate. And I am here for this episode to discuss the citrus aromatic, specifically All Fresh de Leonard. Stay tuned. I didn't see you there. I was just contemplating sunshine lemon coolers. I'm not sure if any of you remember those cookies from back in the day. And Leonard Au Fresh reminds me of those, the scent of those. And at a certain point in the development in the heart, it takes me right back to eating those cookies. So here it is. This is Au Fresh by Leonard Pavi. This was released in 1974, and this is uh, uh, obviously a newer bottle. Uh, older bottles had, instead of this frosted green color, um, it was more of sort of a golden hue. So I'm gonna spray it right now. Ooh, there was a breeze and it, and it just showered me with all fresh. So yes, this opens up with this, according to the notes breakdown, a Sicilian lemon. So this is a very sweet lemon. It is, to me, more a, like a, a, a dessert lemon. Um, maybe something sort of similar to Meyer lemon. And um, as I mentioned earlier, I think of those cookies, uh, Sunshine, the cookie company, the biscuit company from back in the day. I don't even think the, the brand exists anymore. Um, but these lemon coolers. And I think that it's because there is this, uh, there's this lavender and some florals and a mossiness. And when you put that all together, it imparts sort of this powdery quality but it isn't necessarily sweetened. You know, there, there, there isn't, you know, there's no ethyl maltol and there's no tonka, there's no camarin, at least according to the notes breakdown. And it isn't cloyingly sweet. Um, it is quite pleasant. Um, and there's sort of a plummy quality in the background as well. clovey as well. It is certainly refreshing to the nose. It is a great palate cleanser. Um, I would say it is among one of my favorites as far as uh, aromatic citruses such as this or the old flesh, if you will. Gotta love mirrored bottles. You have to get them at just the right angle for photography. And they love fingerprints. Mm. So it's been an hour, it has dried down and the lemon is still discernible, but it is uh, more vetiver and patchouli that's coming to the surface. Uh, you have to love lemon and love bergamot to enjoy something like Old Fresh uh, de Leonard or any Old Fresh because uh, the genre of fragrances uh, usually has lemon and bergamot, especially uh, with herbs, lavender, some florals, and a woody base to it. Uh, and this is a classic example of it, and uh, it's very well done even in this newer formulation. Um, I think it'd be worth checking out. Uh, say, for example, if you enjoy something like Eau de, la, uh, Eau de Galan um, or Eau de Lancôme, uh, Eau de Caron, um, 
or Au Sauvage. Um, it is definitely in that vicinity. So I would, uh, I would recommend checking it out and I don't think that it is terribly expensive and, and the bottle is very attractive as well. I do like this uh, texture and very much harkens another time. Are you a lover of lemon and fragrance? Maybe bergamot? Do citrus aromatics tickle your fancy? Leave a comment and let me know what you like. And if you enjoy this content, please don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. The next video will be the first of my comparison series. This is comparing a vintage or older formulation of a fragrance to one which is newer. I hope you can tune in. Stay safe and take care of each other.